Now today we're looking at two oil filters that are designed to last up to one year or 20,000 miles. Let's get right into it. Now right off the bat, both of these filters are made for the same vehicle. So we're not mixing and matching filters. Secondly, I'm basing this on the fact that you can purchase both of these filters right now at your local auto parts stores and a lot of times they're packaged in certain deals. So for example, right now at Advance Auto, you can purchase a Fram titanium filter with Fram fully synthetic motor oil for less than $30. On its own, the titanium is $15 and the mobile one is $16. So a lot of times we purchase these filters based on the deals that we find, okay? Now, you may be thinking, where's AMSOIL? We can throw AMSOIL in here, but I've done a video in the past regarding AMSOIL. So in the description box below, I'll include a playlist if you want to check out other filter videos that we have done. Now, before we cut open both filters, let's just quickly go over a number of things. Number one, both filters are made in the USA. Secondly, I did take some measurements and the height among both filters are pretty much dead on at three and three eighths of an inch. The circumference, there's a slight variation. As you can see, the circumference of mobile one, this mobile one oil filter is eight and a quarter inches. Compare that to the Fram, the Fram is eight and seven sixteenths of an inch. So in other words, the Fram is larger by three sixteenths of an inch. So the volume is a little bit more regarding the Fram filter, but this is this was really shocking. The Mobile One weighs 9.4 ounces. Compare that to the Fram, which is 8.1 ounces. Now, in the past, I've read comments, why do you waste your time weighing filters? It doesn't tell you anything. Well, in fact, it does. And this is why I like to, in a sense, reverse engineer these filters, because it can tell you a lot about the filter. So what that tells me, and we'll see if I'm right when we cut open the filter, that tells me that the canister is thicker on the mobile one versus the Fram. And why does that matter? Well, that tells us then the burst pressure is higher. In other words, this thing just blowing up. Now, for your everyday vehicle, this is something you do not have to worry about. But if you're off-roading, for example, and you're worried about debris, it's nice to have a thick canister. But also, Think about how many manufacturers race their cars, trucks, motorcycles using Mobile One, and I bet that is one reason. It's because the burst pressure, which I don't know what that pressure is, but the burst pressure must be quite high in the Mobile One. So that's pretty interesting. Now take a look at the outside of the filter. You'll see that the Fram has this coating. In other words, it makes it a little bit easier to grip to remove the filter. Something I often use are just strap wrenches. So in other words, if you're running around with three or four cars and you're maintaining them, instead of having one of these adapters for num for all the different cars that you own, just grab a strap wrench. This I purchased off Amazon. I'll have a link in the description box below if you want to check them out. But this makes it super easy. This will not come off. Super easy to install and remove oil filters. This is what I use, for example, on the S2000 behind me. A very, very nice little tool. Now the last thing very quickly, whenever you're at the parts store and you're comparing different filters, take the filters out of the box and just rotate them. And you can really see some different characteristics. Number one, the base plate is metal, which you always find, metal base plates. Both run a metal center core. Some filters are right here. Some filters are nylon. So for example, uh, Walmart Supertech is a nylon core. The cheapest AC Delco is a nylon core. This is fully a full metal center core. But also take a look at this component right here. What this is is the uh, anti-drain back valve. Now on your lower costing filters, these will be nitrile rubber. Now motor oil obviously gets very, very hot and over time, it can degrade the anti-drain back valve. This essentially prevents dry starts. And this is something I showed on a previous video regarding an oil filter that these quick lube places use. It was a no-name oil filter that used nitrile rubber uh, anti-drain back valves. And after 3,000 miles, it was just so brittle, this valve, and falling apart. So if you're running your motor oil for some time, 
make sure you run in a silicone anti-drain back valve. So let's cut these open and see what we're dealing with. Okay, so this is the quick anatomy of an oil filter. Right on top, of course, we have the canister, and I did measure both of them. As you can see, the mobile one is 0.95 millimeters in thickness. The Fram is 0.75. So again, for your everyday vehicles, this really doesn't matter much, but it does make a difference if you're racing, off-roading. And even if I grab both canisters in my hands, you can see there's a lot more flexibility on the Fram side versus the mobile one. Again, your nitpicking, chances are this is for your everyday vehicle that you're interested in looking at these filters, but nonetheless, we are comparing the two, so it's something to note. This is the anti-drain back valve. Once again, on your lower costing filters, this will be nitrile rubber. In this case, they are constructed slightly different. They both weigh the same. I did weigh them. They're 0.2 ounces in terms of their weight. Certainly nice to see. And again, the whole point behind this is to prevent dry starts. So when you turn off your vehicle, instead of having all the oil drain into the crankcase, this retains some oil so that next time you start your vehicle, there's oil readily available. Whole point behind it. Very, very simple device. On the bottom, we have a relief valve. On the mobile one, it's built into the filter. The whole point behind this valve is if the filter becomes clogged, instead of starving the engine of oil, this little valve opens up and unfiltered oil would circulate back into the engine. Safety feature. That's all it is. And that sits right down here on the mobile one. And this is just a coil stamp piece of steel, which is this component right here. And this essentially just keeps all of the parts nice and compact inside the filter. Now take a look at the filters. Both of them run metal end caps and a metal center tube. Both of them run synthetic medias. Okay, so this is the media. Now both of them are synthetic medias as opposed to polyester or cellulose or even a blend. The advantage with synthetic is it can last longer, it filters better, the efficiency rating is better, and we'll talk about that in a moment. But the mobile one, this is one difference right off the bat, the mobile one is not wire backed. The majority of your filters are not wire backed. This is wire backed. So if you look closely, you'll see right here, and if you keep looking, you'll notice that there is some metal, it almost looks like, uh, it is steel, but you'll see that there is something inside there. And what that is, it's a wire backed screen. And just to show you a screenshot what it looks like, the whole point behind that is if you're familiar, if you have central air conditioning in your house, when you look at the furnace filter, it's wire backed. And the whole point behind that is that it doesn't get sucked into the blower motor. Same concept regarding the filter. This retains the rigidity, the shape of the filter. What happens over time is if you don't change the oil filter, it will start to collapse on itself. So having a wire backing prevents that from happening. So it's a nice feature to find. Mobile One just doesn't have it. Fram does. Okay, so if you are looking for wire backed and that's all you care about, this is an option for you. Others, again, Wix XP, Napa Platinum, Amsoil Row, Purple. This is something, again, I showed years ago on uh, really like a shootout of high-end oil filters. But this is wire-backed, okay? Now, regarding efficiency numbers, both of them are rated at 99 plus percent efficiency. And when they come up with these numbers in their labs, they just don't, you know, devise a number and say, okay, we're 99 percent. They actually follow a international standard. It's known as the ISO. You can look it up. I believe the number is ISO 4548-12 if I remember correctly, but ultimately they follow this guideline on how to come up with these efficiencies or how they calculate these efficiency numbers. So 99% plus on both. The mobile one was rated at above 30 microns, okay? Now the thickness of a human hair, just to give you a comparison, is roughly 80 to 100 microns. So this is filtering at 99 plus percent debris and particles as small as 30 
microns with that kind of percentage in terms of efficiency it's excellent it's just an excellent number the lower costing filters would be like 93 percent so this is 99 same with the fram it's 99 percent above 20 microns so you're again you're really filtering very very small particles and then again we have the base plate okay the only difference again is you have the inlet holes are larger on the fram versus the mobile one and then this is the gasket they're both running a nitrile gasket this prevents leaks but also over time this is something that some people overlook and when they change their oil filter they forget to check if the gasket is stuck to the engine block and that's because sometimes these gaskets can start to melt to the block this is a high temperature nitrile gasket on both of them so it's something that you have to worry less about so always check that by the way and chances are you know that if you're watching this video but always check when you remove the old filter that the gasket is still attached to it if it's not just peel it off the engine block it'll come off easy enough so as we wrap up the video we can certainly see there are some similarities among both filters they're both made in the usa they both pretty much cost the same amount they both run silicone anti-drain back valves they both have metal end caps metal center tube they both have a 99 percent plus efficiency rating at a very very low micron level and they both have pressure relief valves so where are the differences well it comes down to the canister on the mobile one a thicker and stronger canister but the frame has metal back metal backing media so which way do you go well I think it depends on the application so for example if you're using these filters one of these filters on your everyday vehicle for example let's say you have a 2008 Honda Accord and Honda recommends to replace the oil and oil filter every 12,000 miles I'd be perfectly happy with either one but I'm following what Honda says not what these guys say so if Honda says to replace the oil and filter at 12,000 miles I'm replacing this at 12,000 miles or one year whatever comes first so that's the way I'm playing it however if I'm running the S2000 behind me on a track then I'm running mobile one I feel more comfortable having mobile one on a track car versus the front so that's the way I view this so chances are most of you it's your everyday vehicle but ultimately that's what we have here so I hope this gives you a really good idea on the construction differences between the two if you want to go to the next step then you can look at flow rates and pressure rating some people like to mess around with uh, filters based on the engine pressure that they, the dial that they see on their dashboard so you can do that by all means but again I like just to take things apart and just look at the construction that's the whole point behind this video just look at the construction where are the differences so as always thank you so much for watching we will keep on adding to the oil filter playlist and until next time again thank you so much for watching